Karen Campbell, and before I talk to you about what Mixed Media Society is, I just wanted to give you a little bit of history and backstory as to how I got started, and that will explain kind of the evolution of the Mixed Media Society and why and how it exists as it does today. I opened awesomeartschool.com in January of 2016. And at the time, I had just come from teaching in person um, for five years, and I taught both kids and adults. And I think having taught kids for so long is why I'm such like a kooky, spazzy teacher at some times, but I hear that that's a good thing, so I'm not sorry, I'm not gonna change. <laughs> so what I did is I, at the time of January 16th, I launched my Art of Play signature course. And that is a combination of six completely separate modules that if taken together is known as the Art of Play package. It's um, everything you need to know, everything for the complete newbie beginner and for returning artists, um, exactly how to draw for those who can't even draw a stick figure or a straight line. It's introductory, it's an introduction to um, mixed media supplies, so what is water soluble, what is alcohol based, what things are permanent, what can you exchange for what, kind of talking about new tools on the market. There's also an introductory acrylics painting course called Amazing Acrylics. I have an introductory watercolor course also called Wondrous Watercolors. Again, these are all structured for people who have never arted before or for whom it's been like 35 years off. Um, I also have an encaustics module that again, I, I start that module with just me cleaning my studio. So you can see like exactly how I'm setting things up. And then I end that Art of Play package with my Mixing the Media course, which is really introduction to art journaling and mixed media. So fast forward three years, I have um, over 6,000 students enrolled from all over the world and they partake in any number of classes because I've developed quite a few since that time. And here's what I've learned. Because I've gotten to know personally quite a lot of people through teaching online and through my Facebook group. And I've become friends with a lot of my students also, people that I will no doubt have relationships for that will last for the rest of my life. And I've really, really gotten to know who my customers are and they have a lot in common with each other. A lot of these women, and they're almost all women, all of them have like a creative burning desire to work with their hands and to get dirty and to be creative. They were either creative as children and they miss that feeling of like joy and expressive freedom, um, play that they did when they were little and they're trying to kind of return back to that. A lot of my students used to be artists like way back when and then laundry and family and grandkids got in the way and now they're rediscovering their old skills, right? They used to be good at jawing and they're just so rusty and they wanna get back in and then they find my courses to be really helpful with that. A lot of my friends and students have a lot of medical issues or they are um, experiencing a lot of anxiety or depression or they just have stress in their life or they're in pain and that could be emotional or physical pain. And so just the act of creating itself is becomes an outlet and a way for them to cope. It's a way to forget, it's a way to escape and it just feels so damn good when you're doing it. So this is why I created my Mixed Media Society. There's a lot of people out there who need art. They need art in their lives. And I feel like my prices, though completely justified because I bring insane value and experience and fun and awesome projects to my courses, I really, it's really important to me to know that Anyone can have access to this material, um, no matter what their financial situation is, um, no matter where they are in life. Some people, um, you know, they're retired and they're living off social security checks and they can't afford to buy a $99 course. And I totally get that. So what I've done is I've created the Mixed Media Society and I've put into it all 
all of the Art of Play modules that are relevant to mixed media. So you're getting Magic Mark Makers, which I talked to you about before, which is the water soluble and the permanent, and talking about really like your supplies. And of course, there's a ton of projects that you do in there. Um, I'm putting in my introduction to acrylic so you can learn blending, wet blending, dry to wet blending, and like the cutest projects and fun. We do a lot of flowers in there, face, we do a cute penguin. Um, uh, so in all of these Art of Play modules that I'm taking and putting in here too, um, I do a variety of things. I know I'm known for my faces, but in my basic foundational courses, we actually do a lot more than just faces. I also have my Mixing the Media introduction to art journaling class. So I show you different ways to make your own art journal. What good art journaling choices are there out there? How to get started? Project ideas. And again, an array of fun projects. I also have my encaustics course. So if you've ever been intrigued by painting with Perhaps. I walk you through all of that to get started. I'm also putting in my Mixed Media Magic Signature course that goes along with my book, um, which is 10 projects plus bonus projects. Um, it's so much. I also have my cute llama mixed media project in there and I'm also adding new courses every single month as well. So maybe you already have bought Art of Play two years ago, but you want to have access to all of the new lessons. The Mixed Media Society will take care of you because there'll be new lessons every single month. So on YouTube, I'm doing the squished, condensed, under 10 minutes tutorials. The awesome art school version of those same classes are hours long. They're so in depth. I did the mermaid course yesterday. She's hanging right next to me. It took me five hours to edit that. Okay, it's so much work and hard work goes into these courses to make them real time, um, make sure that the reference PDFs are available to you. I have links to supplies where applicable. I also give you, you know, good alternatives if you don't want to go out and buy those supplies. So, so many, you know, sweat, blood, and tears is are, go into my paid courses um, and they're laid out in a very different way than how you see them on YouTube just to make that distinction so if you're interested in really deep diving into mixed media and because you love it and you need art in your life the way that I do and so many of my students do right it's not like I want to become a professional artist it's like I need to art in order to survive and not be grumpy at the end of my day I need it and I know you know what I'm talking about when I say that so I hope that this monthly membership style allows everyone to have access to this I have a link below that will give you access to everything free for 30 days so if you want to enroll you can go in there, you can check out all the projects. It's over 60 projects, 60. It's over $500 worth of paid course material in there. And you can just go and have a look-see for 30 days with no questions asked. If you want to cancel, you can cancel at any time. But if this is something that you want to continue to get good at, you want to go back to those different lessons in the foundational courses to help you with the more advanced projects that are in there, then you totally can have at all of that material at your fingertips. So I hope you enjoy the Mixed Media Society. I hope that answers your questions about what it is and how it got started and why it's so important for me to let everyone who's interested have access access to this material because I think we all can agree that the power that art gives us is truly, truly life-changing and just amazing. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'm happy to get to you and thanks for watching.